player in T20 because, you're bound to say this, there is definitely room for a little bit of craft in 2020. It's not all about Finch and Pollard and A.B. de Villiers, is it, Mahela? No, it's not, but you need these guys behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Batting, doing that uh, dirty work. I mean, you know, you need power hitters in T20 cricket, but at the same time, you need guys to control the innings in, because the conditions in T20 cricket is not going to be the same. You're not, you're not going to get flat wickets where the guys can come and just belt it. You're going to get some wickets which is going to do a bit, some wickets which is going to be slow, uh, low, then the guys won't be able to, you know, get those um, uh, big sixes going. So mm -hmm. you need guys to control the innings, bat for 10, 12 overs, mm -hmm. but bat, um, you know, quick enough and, and keep those uh, strike rates up and, and set up the platform for the big guys to come and just freely um, control and hit, hit, hit wherever they want to do that. So there's room for everybody. Let's have a little look at Mahela in action, some of the touch and some of the, the power that has undoubtedly come into your game since you played T20. Was that one of your biggest challenges that you face as a cricketer? Well, I think the T20, what has done is to make sure that I push the envelope a bit more and, and find ways of, you know, creating, um, you know, shots and, and getting a bit of power into it, more timing, make sure I hit 360, I could be able to hit everywhere. Uh, and, and, you know, um, be, be aggressive as I could be. I think I played like this when I was a schoolboy. And then when you come into the national team, obviously there's pressure. Then you, then you tend to see, okay, where are my weaknesses? Tighten it up a bit more and, and make sure that I concentrate. But this allowed me to go back to my school days and, you know, just play free oh, like and, and do all that. Yeah. So I think, you know, um, to be the player who I always wanted to be. But, you know, at international level, you can't do that. <laughs> place that over the top of the slips so oh beautiful touch and hands Amazing. when have you decided first of all to play that shot and what are the keys to playing it um i decided to do that because um guys started bowling slow ball bouncers um they used to have three guys at the back and bowl short at you um, and even in the subcontinent, it's, it's not easy to keep pulling every ball, you know, it's, okay. you know, it's, you're going to get out at some point. And then the other fact is you get quicker and quicker guys coming at you, bowling good bouncers. And, and the fact is that you know that you might miss one and then you doubt yourself. But the best way to counter that was to use the pace. Mm. And there's no fielders at the back, you know, ideally you would have loved to take it over the wicket keepers that I remember Gilly used to do that in the 99 World Cup as well he used to ramp it over the wicket keeper so I, I mean these are things that you start developing to your game say that you know this is a great option you guys coming at 140 and then you just glide it over the wicket keeper's head. I can still get so now you're talking on my yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think the shorter guys it's much easier for you to pick that length Maybe. quickly Maybe. and then get away as well. Yeah. I think I think it's much easier. I've seen Sachin yeah. doing that as well. The shorter guys probably pick that length quickly and then do that. It just you're not looking to put anything on it at all. Just lay the just bat. Just lay in. the bat and then probably lift it up. Oh, you're actually time. just going to lift. Yeah, the bat because otherwise the wicket keeper will catch that. Yeah. So you just need to like really give it a nice little touch earlier and he almost uh, bowled a beam at me the next one because <laughs> he followed me this way and um, he was really upset because it, that's the first time he'd seen me doing that and after the game he came and said when did you start doing that because I had to do, do that because you know you cannot just keep pulling a guy all the time 